Hello friends and neighbors, how are we today? Jedi Phoenix with you here once again. Welcome to another edition of the Chronicles. Before I get into the meat of this video, a couple of things I wanted to mention. Um, first of all, I am on Instagram. I started to account for myself, that way I can post little updates and tidbits that i um, normally not able to on YouTube. So look for me under Jedi Phoenix 1976. I will post a link in the description so you can follow that, make it nice and easy. And the other thing I wanted to mention is, um, as you find in my videos, uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, I would love to see this channel grow, I'm trying to um, add to it as I can. I try to do at least a couple of videos a week as time allows. But uh, I got more lightsaber reviews coming. I have more reactions in mind. My, uh, my Godzilla vs. Kong trailer reaction um, Seems to have been a big hit, so I'm going to be on the lookout for other trailers, you know, just coming out that I can react to as well as um, everybody else. So, subscribe, hit that bell so you know what I'm posting, and uh, hopefully my channel will grow a little bit. I'm having a blast with it, and hopefully with your help I can maintain it. So, I have a little something different today. Uh, this is not one of my sabers. This is my son's. It was a 16th birthday present for him uh, from my parents, and this is from Rebel Sabers. This is the Grand Quillen. Quillen? Queen? Quillen. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Let me let you have a look at it before I get into the particulars. You can see I'm in a different room in my house. That way I have a little more room to move around, especially with this thing. So as you can see, it is a cross guard saber, obviously. Not based 100% on Kylo Ren's, but then again, I don't think it's supposed to be either. I think this is just um, a version of a cross guard. This, um, I will say, this definitely has a little weight to it compared to some other sabers. Not cumbersome, I don't mean that. But this definitely feels more like a sword than a saber, I think, as you're hoisting it, as I'm holding it now. Um, and that's not a bad thing. It's, you can swing it around. This is why I'm in a different room here, so you can see. Uh, my son, believe it or not, is able to do the obi Annie with this, which I can't do with a regular saber, so I'm not going to try. But uh, you definitely feel it in your arm when you swing this enough times. More like a workout rather than anything. So it's not a bad weight by any means. Uh, this was about 260 or so, I think, thereabouts on Rebel Sabres. Um, not bad. Not terribly bad price at all, I don't think. Not for a cross guard, anyway. So I will, one thing I just noticed just now, there is double threading in the pommel here. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. There we go. So you could, I think, combine two of these if you really wanted to get ambitious and do a cross guard. You just have to uh, need a coupler or something. So the saber came um, disassembled. The cross guards were not part of it. You have to screw those on yourself and then all the retention screws to put the, the blades in place. So I did not do an unboxing because it is not my saber. It is not my unboxing to do. My son, to be honest with that. One thing, other thing I did notice, swinging this around, the hilt tends to come unscrewed a little. So you really got to kind of and it's not the overlay, it's the entire section here, you know, so you kind of got to be careful of that. And speaking of combining them, I think each quillin comes with this part right here, and if you take that off, there's your thread joint, okay? So if you have one like this and the other with the coupler on it, 
You can very easily do a cross guard, uh, not a cross guard, I'm sorry, uh, a double blade of this, if you're crazy enough, if you're ambitious enough. But let me go ahead and fire this baby up. I'm not going to mess with the settings because I've already done all the sound fonts in a previous video, and this is the way my son wants it, so I'm not going to mess with his stuff. But, smooth swing, as usual. The uh, beam is in place, the beam block. And this is what I mean by the way I do it. See what I mean? I mentioned in an earlier video, I'm more of a Conan swinger than an Obiani. So, and this is definitely made for that, I think. The weight, it's not cumbersome weight, like I said, and if anything, the weight, once you get the momentum going, the weight just carries it. So, I do love that smooth swing. I gotta admit. So, they do have another version on Rebel Sabers, the, um, the Dark Quillen, which has a little bit of a different flair on the emitters. Uh, these just kind of go straight up, whereas the dark quill and the, the emitters flare out um, to give it a different look. So the dark quill was a little cheaper than this one, but he wanted this one, and uh, that's what he got for his birthday. So he does love it. I will admit this is a nice saber for uh, a collector piece. Um, give you one more look at it. So this is just a quick review. He gave me permission to show this off. So I have to say, I do like the rings around here, around the emitters. So, and uh, one note about the cross guards, the, the side blades here. Um, you kind of have to judge how you want them sticking out. Like right now, the way they're sticking out right now, they do not go all the way into the hilt. If you put them all the way in the hilt, you're only going to have about maybe that much sticking out. So you want just enough to... If you can see the retention screw there. Okay. You want just enough so that retention screw is going to catch the blade and hold it in place. And... uh there's about two recension screws on each um, emitter, both the top and the sides. So once you have them both in place, this is pretty, uh, pretty sturdy. You know, we haven't had a problem with any of the blades flying out or anything. So it's just this one piece here that kind of, the more you spin it, the more it kind of loosens up. you got to be careful of that. And uh, one thing I do like, as always, the charging points on the outside here. All right, because I have seen some sabers where you got to have to remove a button to get to it, and that's a little problematic for me. But, so, to wrap things up, this is, as I said, the Grand Quillen. Give it a look-see if you're into cross guards to add to your collection. If you own one, you want to rave about it, let me know in the comments. Uh, or if you have the dark quill and you want to talk about that, be my guest. Any comments that you want to make, feel free. The comment section is always open. As I said, hit that subscribe button, and uh, let's help this channel grow. Until the next video, as always, be good, be well, be safe, and be happy.